guys, um, welcome to another movement meditation. Uh, today I got my AirPod in again. Um, I will be listening to Artemis on uh, my Spotify. Um, so again, you go to Spotify, search Bobby Wilson, scroll down to the profiles. This uh, one is Artemis. Um, the playlist is a little bit longer, so we're gonna cut some songs out at the end before the cool down. Uh, but if you're with me, we will start the music in five, four, three, two, one. Cool. So as that's going, um, find a way, of course, to hands and knees. So tabletop position, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. From there, take some time to start to cat and cow warm up. Um, so every inhale breath, chest can rise, tail can rise. And then every exhale, you arch the spine, press the floor away. And start to move through the movement in your own time, in your own way. Again, just starting the practice off by moving the body. It can be a normal cat and cow, or again, anything that feels good. Um, my shoulders are tight today, so I'm gonna say, more my legs and kind of move around, just my personal preference. Um, today is going to be hopefully a shoulder heavy class or lots in the shoulders, so be prepared. And speaking of the shoulders, we're gonna get to them right away. Um, so bring your knees together, toes go flat, you'll sit on the heels. If this is too much to sit on the knees, just sit on your butt, same thing. Um, from here, we're gonna interlace the hands behind the back. Take the right thumb on top. And then for now, just start to chase the floor and lift the chest. You feel the heart lift away from the hands, so the hands try to reach towards the floor. And the head can go back if you'd like to. I like to keep mine active, uh, but you can rest your, rest your hands in the back if you'd like. Good, and then bring it back up. And take the hands to the right side, and then turn towards you. Um, so hands towards the right side of the rib cage. From here, start to squeeze the elbows together behind you, and then drop the right ear towards the right shoulder. Now we can stay here with the static hold or start to run off the head, run off the head back and forth. If that feels okay, if it doesn't, then don't do it. And the head comes center. Then take the hands behind you, switch the crossing so all five or all ten fingers switch, so the other thumb is on top. And then from here again, we chase the floor, lift the chest, gaze can lift, head can go back if you'd like, or you know, keep the gaze forward. And second side, take it over to the left. Squeeze the elbows together behind you, drop left ear, left shoulder. And again, stay here in that static hold or start to nod the head back and forth, getting a little bit more of a wrist or neck stretch rather. And head comes back center. Release the hands, clasp them in front of you. Doesn't matter which thumb is on top, just do some figure eights. So go in a figure eight shape. Hands come center, switch the crossing of all the fingers, go the opposite direction. That might be weird, it might be uncoordinated, um, just do the best that you can. And then release the hands, take the hands up to the sky, and then start to open and close the hands as fast as you can. So all the way open, all the way close, and as fast as you can. After a while, the forearms should start to burn. That means you're doing it right. We're here for five. Good, four. Two, really shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Good, give yourself a fist bump. And keep the fingers in the fist so they wanna uncurl. Don't let them, keep them in. And take the back of the hands to the floor and then start to pull the elbows as far away from the floor. This is especially where the fingers want to uncurl. So if you find the fingers reaching up, go back down, bring the fingers in and then try it again. stretch or reach the arms forward, flip the palms, fingers down, and fingers towards the floor, and palms towards the floor, shift forward back side to side. Yeah, and release the hands, downward facing dog, so it's up to tabletop into your downward facing dog. Now we've been on the knees for a little bit of time, so really take some time to shake and walk this one out, so maybe you can pause a specific heel to the floor as the other one rises, and lower a bit slow and steady cat or walk it out or if you'd like to pick up the pace and start to move the legs by all means and i'm choosing the slow option here you know, and then if you are going for that slow option start to pick up the pace and allow the body to move side to side as you do so move it into more of a side to side sway less of a just walk the dog 
you keep that sway going as you start to walk the hands back to the feet, baby hand by baby hand, as in like a little bit by little bit, just keeping some movement going through the body. Once you find your way onto the feet, you grab the elbows, rag doll, keep that sway going. So try not to find stillness, just keep swaying back and forth, weight moves into the fronts of the feet, until one tries to reach to the sky. And notice if the head is doing anything, can you release the head and neck, allow the top of the head to reach towards the floor. You should still be swaying here. We're going to pick up momentum, so gaining momentum. Keep hold of the forearms, and then you'll take the forearms up the right side, down the left, so the big circle up to stand, the forearms go high. And then back down the left side, fall all the way down. And do two more like that, so we'll go up the right side, inhale breath. Exhale down the left. And one more, inhale, we go up. And exhale, we go down. And stay at the bottom and we'll switch sides. So this time we inhale up the left side, big circle. And then exhale down the right. And two more leads. Inhale the up left. And exhale the right. Good. Last one, inhale the left up. And then exhale down the right. Good. Sway a little bit at the bottom. And release the hands forward. And then bend the knees, start to roll up the spine, head, neck, last thing that comes up. Once you arrive, some shoulder shrugs backwards and some forwards. And take the arms up to the sky, inhale, breath, palms can meet. And then you'll interlace the hands behind the back, take the right foot on top. Good. Once more, we chase the floor, lift the chest, gaze, can lift. And then exhale, bend the knees, fold over the legs. So legs can stay bent or start to straighten. And the hands can stay low back or reach them overhead. And they might go further overhead than mine. Mine don't go very far. I have tight shoulders. Um, so be gentle with this. Good. Zombie chair. Bend the knees. So then reach the arms forward like zombie arms. Use that to lift the chest up. And once you arrive, feel the weight move into the heels. 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 <laughs> and fingertips reach forward. Find length through your arms. Good. From here, can you straighten the legs? Interlace the hands behind the back. Take the left foot on top. Good. Chase the floor, lift the chest, inhale, breath. And then bend the knees, exhale, fold. And same concept, hands can stay low back or reach overhead. Mm, knees can stay bent or straightened. Good. Zombie chair, hands to low back, bend the knees, reach the arms forward as you bring the chest up. You can feel the thighs wrap under you. Think active squat, but with different legs. Good. Forward fold, hands to the floor. Good. Downward facing dog, just walk the hands forward, hands under shoulders, feet still where they are. Good. Inhale, take the right leg up to the sky. And then warrior one. Next, lean the nose, set between the hands. And your back heel spins out about a 45 degree angle. Then you'll take the arms up to the sky. It's spreading stacks directly over the ankle. Back heel is firmly on the floor. So short enough stance to keep both these things. Into the left hip, push forward, right hip back. And from there, once more, we'll interlace the hands behind the back. The last time with this grip, I promise. So right thumb goes on top. On the inhale breath, lift the chest, gaze can go up. And then humble warrior, exhale bow. So right shoulder to knee or inside the knee. The hands can stay low back or reach overhead. Again, we've done a lot of shoulders, so if you want to keep the hands on low back, like I'm not going to be mad at you. Yeah, strong inhale, rise, take the arms all the way up towards the sky. And then airplane wings, exhale, bow the body halfway forward. Yeah, we'll go star pose, so open to the left. Take a big stretch, feel the heels come in, toes reach out. Yeah, and then skandasana or skater's lunge. So we just bend the left knee, bottoms of both feet stay on the floor, and we go as low as you can, the heels stay down. So we'll lift the heels a little bit later, right knee hug now. I just want to get into the legs, so I should feel a little bit of a stretch on the inside of the left thigh. The right thigh should be active as well. Hands can eventually go to the floor. If you do, I want you to find a flat back, so heart reaches forward, toe behind you. Yeah, and of course, if you can go lower by all means, but this is my depth, I'm staying here. Yeah, we'll go to the front, lizard lunge. So I'm going to walk my hands inside the right leg. 
Right foot's gonna walk all the way out towards the side. Good, from here we have the twist, left hand stays, and lift the right arm up to the sky. Engage the ball of the hand, it doesn't have to, wherever's comfortable. Yeah, drop the hand inside the right leg. Reach the chest forward, lift the chest, inhale, breath. And then hips back, start to straighten the front leg a little or a lot. It doesn't have to be all the way straight, but it can be. Yeah, an active squat. And left foot steps forward, outside the left hand. So feet about a 45 degree angle. I bend the knees, lift the arms forward. Good, feel the thighs wrap under you. We'll hold here for five. And for four. And for three. And two, hands heart to stand back to stand. Good. Take arm side, inhale breath. Bend knees, hands go forward. And plant hands, step a left foot, and then a right foot back high plank. And stay high plank, or take one full push up, try to get the chest to the floor. Good. And then we drop the knees. And shift back to lower the forearms. Slide to up dog, your inhale breath. And then down dog, the exhale. And we'll find that same thing, second side. So on the inhale breath, take the left leg up to the sky, big stretch. And then warrior one, exhale, lean the nose, step it through. And back heel spins down, up out of 45, your angle turn forward. We lift the arms. Good, so keep it tight, greedy in the legs, drive down through the left heel. I'm gonna try to lift with left thigh. Yeah, then from here we find that grip behind the back, so interlace the hands, left thumb on top. And start to chase the floor, lift the chest, gaze can lift. Humble warrior, exhale, bow down. So again, left shoulder to the knee or inside the knee. Maybe the top of the head towards the floor, but it's early. Don't strain the legs too much to be down here. Good. Strengthen legs, strong legs, squeeze the thighs. Inhale, take the arms all the way up to the sky. Big stretch. And then airplane wings, bow halfway forward. Good. Star pose. We open to the right. Take a big stretch. Again, heels come in. Toes reach out. And then skater's lunge. We'll bend the right knee. Shift over. So again, I like to take my hands to the floor. Airplane wings works as well. But again, we want torso parallel as close as we can. And both thighs engaged. If you feel like you're stretching behind the left knee, uh, put a nice little bend in the knee. Protect the knee. Good. To the front, lizard lunge. So we go inside the left leg, left foot walks out towards the side of the mat. Add the twist, left arm to the side. Yeah, drop the hand inside the leg. Reach the chest forward, lift the chest, inhale, breath. And then hips back, straighten the leg a little or a lot. An active squat, right foot steps forward, outside the right hand. You'll bend the knees, thighs engage, the arms lift forward. You feel the belly turn on, we hold here for five. Good, keep it four. And for three. And two, hands, heart, stand, exhale. Good, take on time, held breath. Bend knees, hands go forward. Good, plant hands, step the left foot, and then right foot back, high plank. Stay, or that full push up, down and up. And then drop the knees, and shift back the forearms. Slide to up dog, your inhale breath, and down dog, the exhale. And final breath. So round two, we're gonna do the same thing a little different, so adding on a chunk in the middle as opposed to the end. Um, Stay with me, you got it, no worries. Yeah, from here, inhale, take the right leg up to the sky. And then warrior one, exhale, lean the nose, step it through. And back heel spins 45, you lift the arms high. Good, so same, same stance here, maybe a little bit wider with that right foot. Um, so we're past heel to heel, maybe a little bit wider. I like hip width distance with the heels, whatever feels best. Yeah, this time we'll eagle wrap the arms. So your right arm's gonna wrap under the left. Actually, just kidding, it's left arm under the right. So you'll wrap the elbows, forearms, maybe fingers. If this doesn't work, we can give ourselves a hug or just bring the elbows together. Good, keep the arms on the inhale breath, take them up to the sky. 
And then have warrior exhale, drop the forearms towards the floor. And the lower the arms go, the stronger I want the legs. So don't just dumb to get the forearms down. Keep strength and integrity in your legs. Yeah, you can feel the right hip squeeze in towards the center line of the mat. Good. Strong inhale will rise, release the arms and warrior one arms to the sky. And then airplane wings, just bow halfway forward. Good. Stork pose, big jump, take the left leg up to the sky so the thigh comes parallel. And you'll flex left ankle. And funky chair, flex the ankle over the knee. And then bend the bottom knee to sit low. Now, as you sit, you want to grip through the right toes. Don't do that. Relax the toes as much as you can. That'll keep some strength and integrity <laughs> in your leg. I'm mean, going to apparently say that a lot today. Um, but just try not to overuse the toes. Relax. Good. From here, stork pose. Take the left leg up to the sky. Big stretch. And then stay or straighten that leg. Hold it five. Good. Keep it four. And three. And two. Horse pose. So you're just getting a big left step. Heels come out, or heels come in, toes reach out, we sit. So feet about a 45 degree angle. I like to sway here. For me, this is a lot of pain. Um, so swaying helps distract. Good, lean, held breath, star pose, reach up, straighten the legs, big stretch. Good, exhale, bend the knees, squeeze the shoulders behind you. And two more like that, inhale, go up. Good, exhale, go down. Good, inhale, go up. Last one, exhale, go down. Good, we stay here. Crouch your monkey, left leg will shift over. Straighten the right leg and those right toes can go to the sky. Now for most of us, this left heel will lift. If it stays down, you've got the mobility to do that by all means. Hands to the floor, wherever you'd like. I like left elbow to thigh. Hand as far as away as I can. Right arm to the sky. Lizard lunge, walk the hands inside the right leg, so face your front wall. And then this time we'll add the twist, take the right arm up to the sky. Not this time, we did it the first time, but we're doing it again. Good, now this time it's side plank. My back foot's going to turn to the side. I'm going to step my right foot back to meet the left, now any side plank here. If I want to drop the left knee to the floor, we can. If I want to lift the right leg, I can. If you want to take this twilight thing, my right foot can step behind the hip. Use the right foot to lift the hips to the sky. Big stretch, maybe those fingertips go to the floor. Good. If you went side plank, can you bring it back? Or if you went wild, think you bring it back to side plank. From there, feel the right leg lift towards the sky. And maybe you bring that knee to the chest. Try to slowly step the foot forward and twist and lunge. Good. From there, we'll drop the hand, then straighten both legs a little or a lot. Now the front knee shift forward, look forward, and shift it back, straighten the leg. Good. Then the front knee shift forward, and once more, shift it back. Good. Forward fold, step forward, top of the mat, heels, toes, touch. Good. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flatten spine. Exhale, fold. And chair pose. Bend the knees at the hips. Feel the weight move into the heels. Gaze forward, not the floor. But right away, the belly turns on. We stay. Good. Now, option to stay here in the normal chair. If you want to add a shoulder back bend, uh, start to meet the fingers or the palms together. And then just start to take them as far behind the head as you can so the head will puff through. The chest will lift. We're here for five. Good. Hold it for two for three. And two, slowly forward fold, hands to the floor. Good. From there, widen the distance, hip width distance. And take a deep bend in the knees, then roll up the spine, head, neck, last thing up. Good. Once you arrive, you're going to turn the toes outwards about a 45 degree angle. And take the arms up to the sky, inhale, breath. And look to hands, then bend the elbows, cactus arm back bend. Lift the heart through the shoulders. And then as you do, try to press hips forward as much as you can. And try to lift the hips. We're here for five. Good. Hold it for three. And two. Inhale. Rise up to the sky. And parallel the feet. And then fold all the way down to the floor. Good. Inhale. Halfway lift. Throw along through the spine. And crow pose or vinyasa. So we plant the hands, knees to triceps, arm balance, or skip it. 
And again, if you can't find your curl, or if you feel like you're falling back quite a bit, shift forward so the fingertips press into the floor. That is your curl pose. We're here for five. Good, hold it for three. And two, step our hot vinyasa, your choice. And I'll give you a few breaths here. To find any other variation, anything you need to add in your vinyasa. And then we'll meet back in down dog in five. And down dog in four. In three. In two. Cool. Inhale, take the left leg to the sky. Good. Warrior one, need another step it through. And back heel spins 45 degrees. We lift the arms overhead. So again, front knee stacks, maybe this side a little bit wider than heel to heel. Hip width is my preferred preference. Good, keep the legs, eagle wrap, right arm under left. So again, it's the elbows, forearms, fingers. Don't do that thing with the back like I just did. Good, or the hug or the arms together. On the inhale breath, lift the arms up to the sky. On the warrior, exhale, drop it down to the floor. Now as you do this, left hip again wants to slide out to the left. Can you squeeze the hip towards the center line of the mat? And keep the strength in the legs. Good. Strong inhale, rise. Warrior one, take the arms all the way up to the sky. And then airplane wings, bow the chest halfway. Good. Stork pose, big jump. Take the right leg up to the sky. Inhale. And then funky chair. Flex the ankle over the knee. And bend the bottom knee to the ball. Now we keep this right ankle flexed to protect the right knee. And then move the hips back a little bit more and try to reach the heart forward. And hands can do whatever. I like to talk with mine because I know. Holy shit. I didn't just say that. Good. <laughs> From here, it's stork pose. Right leg to the sky to stay or straighten the leg. Hold it at five. Good. For four. And three. And two. Horse pose. Big right step. Heels in, toes out. We bend the knees, sit low, maybe sway. I like to. You don't have to. And then three rounds of that breath. Inhale, star pose. Inhale, goes up. And then exhale, goddess, we squeeze the shoulders behind you, activate. Good. Inhale, go up. And two more. Exhale, go down. Good. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. And we'll stay low. From here, it's crouch your monkey right leg. I just shift into the right, straighten the left leg. And then get your hands floor, heart, whatever you need to. My variation is right elbow inside the right thigh. Reach the arm as far away as you can, and then take the left arm to the sky. Good. We face the front wall, lizard lunge, so walk the hands inside left leg, or walk the foot all the way out. And right hand is under the shoulder, add your twist, left arm to the sky, we try to stack the shoulders over it. Good. Now feel supported in the bottom arm. It's side plank. Left foot steps back. Again, we can drop the bottom knee, lift the top leg, or maybe that wild thing. Left foot steps behind the hips. You use that left foot, arch the hips up to the sky. And maybe fingers towards the floor. Good. And if you took the wild thing, can you bring it back side plank? So my shoulders will stack. Belly strong. Then I lift the left leg. And for the challenge, left knee comes to the chest. I try to keep the arms as I slowly step the left foot forward. Good. And then drop the hand, drop the hand. Left foot steps forward if it's not already there. And tend the hands, look forward the chest. Good. Hips back, straighten the leg. Good. Bend the front knee, shift forward, look forward. Good. Shift back, two more. Good. One more. Bend the knee, shift forward, look forward. And shift it back. Good. Forward fold, step forward, top of the mat, heels, toes, touch. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flatten spine. Exhale, fold. Good. Chair pose, bend the knees to the hips, weight to heels, gaze forward, not the floor. So when we look down, it drops the chest, like gaze goes down, everything goes down. So again, keeping that gaze forward to lift the chest. From here, stay or find that shoulder opener, meet the palms. And then start to take the arms as far behind the head as you can for five. Good. Lift the chest for four. And for three. And 
two, slowly forward fold, hands down to the floor. Good. Once you arrive, widen the stance, hip width distance so two fists can fit between the feet. From there, we bend the knees, roll up the spine, head, neck, last thing that comes up. Good. Once you arrive, toes turn outwards. We take the arms up to the sky if you can help breath, gaze follows. And then cactus on back then. Bend the elbows, press hips forward, lift the heart, hold it five. And for four. And for three. And two, strong inhale, rise, bring it back up. And parallel the feet, then take it all the way down. Fold. And inhale, halfway lift at the top, find length through the spine. And then crow pose or vinyasa. Plant the hands, knees to triceps, arm bounce, or skip it. And again, if you're going to the arm bounce with me, we hold it five. Good. Try to kick the butt, hold it four. And for three. And two, step a hop. Vinyasa. And go find the breath, move back and down, dog in five. And down dog in four. In three. And two. Round three, last one. Yeah, take the right leg up to the sky, inhale breath. Warrior one, exhale, need a nose, step it through. Yeah, the back heel spins down, we take the arms up to the sky. Yeah, and same concept, but a little different. We'll find the eagle arms, left arm under right. So again, it's elbows, forearms, and maybe fingers, or the hug, or forearms touch. On the inhale breath, take the arms up to the sky. And then humble warrior, take it all the way down to the floor. And maybe not all the way down, just try your best. Um, but if the forearms do find the floor, I want you to lift them up about one inch just to keep the strength in the legs, and so we don't just dunk to the floor. And this time we try to keep the arms. You'll lift the chest, gaze goes forward. Eagle pose. Your left leg is going to cross over the right. Right leg might straighten for transition, but you'll bend it once you cross. And a single or double wrap, it doesn't matter. I'm releasing the arms just to show. Try to bring this left foot onto the right shin, so just squish the legs together as much as you can. And once you've got it, try to bring the elbows shoulder height. We're here for five. Good. Hold it four. And for three. And two. Keep the arms or lose them. It's a war stork pose to warrior three. So bring the body parallel to the floor. We can keep the arms, we're gonna lose them, your choice. But can you squeeze the left thigh, lift it as high as you can, hold it five. Good, reach fingers forward for four. And three. And two, crescent lunge. You'll land the toes, take it straight to a back bend, eagle arms or not, we're here for five. Good, feel the elbows rise higher for four. And for three. And two. And slowly release the hands, hands to the floor, runner's lunge. Good. Keep your leg down, dog. Take the front leg up to the sky behind you. And bend the knee, open hips, stay, or the wild thing. If you feel ready for full wheel, um, we can plant that both feet. Lift the hips as high as you can. Maybe those fingers reach towards the floor. If it lands, then maybe we flip that other hand. Good. Three leg down, dog. My left arm is going to untwist. I'll lift the right, and then swing that right leg up to the sky. Good, from here it's falling star, right knee to the left elbow, kick the leg out. Back heel spins down, I stay or lift my left arm for five. Good, hold it for four. And for three. And two, three leg down dog, drop the left hand, lift the right leg up to the sky, inhale breath. And runner's lunge, step between the hands. Good, hit star pose, open left, big stretch, face your left wall. And then goddess, heels in, bend the knees, sit low. Good, this time we take hands to thighs, fingers inside, and drop the left shoulder, look towards your front. Good, switch sides. Good, star pose, inhale, big stretch goes up. And then goddess, bend the knees, sit low. Good. Left leg crouching monkey, left leg bends, right leg straightens. And you might take that same arm opening I did, maybe even the bind. My top hand's going to go around the back. My bottom arm goes around this knee. Eventually, I find the fingers. Now, if I've got it, the goal is to open the chest again towards the sky. Oh. Whoosh. That was my sound effect. 
<laughs> Until the front runners lunge. Release the hands, walk them forward, frame the foot for this one. Intent the hands, look forward, inhale, breath. And then hips back, straighten that leg. Get your thing strong and standing splits. Step forward, lift the left leg as high as you can on the sky. We press the hands into the floor, hold it here for five. Good, just for four. And for three. And two, stork pose, knee to nose, look forward, lift the left leg up to the sky. Good, and then funky chair, flex the ankle over the knee, and bend the bottom knees as well. Good, if you'd like to take the flying pigeon, by all means, if we're new to the flying pigeon, um, I need to step back a little bit on my mat, but we'll plant the hands to the floor. And start to bend the elbows, create a shelf with the triceps. Now press your bottom shin into that shelf, finish the shelf. And then as you shift forward, start to feel the fingertips press down. Eventually we lift this right leg. If you'd like to send the leg back, you can. I'm not going to because I don't want to. We're here for five. Good, hold it four. Three. And two, land the right foot. And take that step in if you step back. And then store pose, left leg up. Good. Once you rise, stay or finish straight leg, hold it five. And try not to lean back four. And for three. And two, mountain pose, hands, heart center. Good. Inhale, arms to the sky. And forward fold, bend the knees, take your hands to the floor. Good. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flat the spine. And vinyasa or skip it, plant the hands, any route to down dog, I'm going to show up. You don't have to go this way, but I really wanted to. We're down dog in five. In four. In three. In two. Last time. Inhale, left leg high. Into warrior one, knee to nose, step it through. And back heel spins, you lift the arms when ready. And we go wrap right arm under left, so it's elbows, forearms, fingers, or the a hug, or the forearms together. On the inhale breath, take the arms up to the sky. On the warrior, exhale, drop it down towards the floor. And again, the lower the arms, the stronger the legs. Keep the integrity, keep the strength in your legs. That's the theme of today, apparently, is integrity and strength of the legs. And we keep the arms, lift the chest, eagle pose. So I'll gaze forward. Cross my right leg over the left, again, single or double wrap, it doesn't matter. Just bend the left knee, sit low in left leg, and try to lift the elbows. We're here for five. Good, hold it, four. And three. And two, keep the arms or lose them, it's stork pose to warrior three. So warrior three with eagle arms or not, your choice, but the body's parallel. Back leg as straight as you can for five. Good, hold it four. And three. And two, land the back toes. Take it straight to a back bend or skip it. So elbows to sky, fingers to sky, maybe to the wall behind you, five. Good, hold it four. And three. And two, slowly, 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 hands to floor. It's three leg down dog, lift the front leg up to sky behind you. And then we bend the knee, open hips, stay, or the wild thing, or the full wheel. Again, you land the left foot. If you're going full wheel, we'll plant both feet down. We'll lift the hips as high as you can. And maybe left fingers reach towards the floor. They might not touch. You might stay there. That's cool. If they touch, hand can land. And then we just untwist that right hand and drive through the legs. Good. Same route to get out. My right hand's going to untwist. I'll lift the left arm. I might even sit down to flip it over. Three leg down dog, left leg high. Good, to falling star, left knee, right elbow, kick the leg out. Back heel spins, right arm can lift for five. Good, hips go high for four. And three. And two, three leg down dog, take left leg up to sky, deep and call breath. And runner's lunge, steady through. Good. Star pose. Open right. Big stretch. Face your right wall. Goddess. Bend the knees. Sit it low. Good. We stay low. Just take the hands to the thighs. Fingers inside. And drop the right shoulder. Look towards the front. And 
and switch. Left shoulder down, right up. Good. Star pose, big stretch, reach to the sky. And goddess, bend the knees just sit low. Good. Right leg crouching monkey, right knee bends, left leg straightens, hands down or around the leg. So again, if we went that by the first time, right elbow inside the thigh, hand to the floor, left arm high. From there, that left hand can go around the low back. Maybe right, wrap the right arm around the right knee. If you got it, open chest to the sky. Good. To the front, it's runner's lunge. Bring the hands around your left leg. And tend the fingertips, look forward, lift the chest. Good, hips back, just straighten that leg. Good, think strong, extending switch. Shift forward, plant hands, lift the back leg to the sky. It's only here for five. Good, try to keep it here for four. Right leg a little higher for three. And two, stork pose, knee to nose, look forward, lift the right leg up. Good. From there, it's funky chair, ankle over the knee, and bend the bottom knees at low. And again, just stay here, moving the hips back, work the hip stretch or the flying pigeon. I'm gonna reach my hands towards the floor and plant the hand shoulder distance. I bend my elbows to start, maybe bend the bottom knee to get that as well. Press my right shin onto the elbows, triceps rather, not the elbows. Shift forward, 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 forward. Feel the fingertips press down. That's when we can lift this bottom leg. We're here for five. Good, hold it for three. And two, land the foot. And take that step in it, knee two. And then stork pose, we lift the right leg. Good, stay here or finish with that straight leg. Hold it five. And for four. And three. And two, mountain pose, hands, heart, center. Gorgeous, inhale, arms to the sky, deep inhale, breath. And forward fold, bend the knees, take it all the way down. Good, inhale, halfway lift, hands to chin, slap and spine. Listen close, high plank, plant hands, step it back, final push, a little bit of shoulders, a little bit of core. And drop the right forearm, and then the left forearm. You go to your right hand, left hand. Good, left forearm, right forearm, left hand, right hand. Good, one more like that, we'll do right forearm, left forearm, right hand, left hand. Good, stand the hands or drop the forearms to the floor. You have a forearm or a normal plank for 10, and for nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two. Drop the heels to the right side. Lift your left arm. Forearm side plank or normal side plank. Ten. For a nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, and two, back to plank, both hands or forearms, for five, four, three, and two, drop heels left, you lift the right arm, your second side plank, ten, for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, back to the plank. I encourage the forearms. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Keep with me. Four. And three. And two, dolphin pose. Keep the forearms down. Just lock the feet in as much as you can. Ten. You gotta push for it. Nine. For eight. And seven. Six, don't keep uh, keep it for five. Don't not keep it four. And three. And two, listen close, press the top of the head to the floor, drop the head down if you can. Walk the feet in about a foot or so, just one step in, and then lift the head, final 10 seconds for nine. For eight. For seven. Six. Five. 
four, three, and two, and child's pose. Drop the knees, child's pose, arms can go back forward, you might also just sit. Take some time, grab some water, breathe. Cool, so grab some water, take your time. Um, we will make our way to Half Pigeon for the cool down. If you're with me in on Spotify, um, we're going to skip the next couple songs uh, to Peace Acoustic Version with Alice in Wonderland. Um, we will start that song in three, two, one. Half Pigeon. So if you need a Half Pigeon, we'll start in the Downward Facing Dog. Your right leg will go up to the sky, deep inhale breath. And then the right knee towards the right wrist, ankle towards the left. Hips as even as you can. Choose to stay here on the hands or go deeper to forearms or the floor. Now, I'm not one to talk a lot during the cool down, um, so which is why I encourage following along with me on Spotify or at least playing something in the background. Um, I find that music can distract away from the sometimes intense stretching that we do at the end of class, um, so I like to let the music do the talking. So we'll be here. stay here. If you'd like a twist um, or a variation back bend, you're more than welcome to take it. I'm going to be taking the twist today, um, so I'm going to come back to the hands. It's a specific twist. There's two ones, but this is one of them. Um, so from the hands, my left arm is going to reach underneath the right, almost like a thread the needle, and take the left shoulder all the way to the floor. And the head can relax. Right knee can stay here, or eventually the right arm goes up and around the back. Try to find eventually I will grab the heel or maybe even the big toe and use that to kind of Open that right shoulder to the sky. And if the heel isn't accessible or nowhere close, you might also just grab the shirt or the waistband of your pants and use that to kind of pull. Switch the sides, so back to hands, tuck back toe, lift the knee. And step it back to that down dog or three leg down dog, shake it out, walk it out. And we'll go that second side, left leg goes up to the sky, inhale breath. Mm, half pigeon. <laughs> left knee towards the left wrist, ankle towards the right. Again, back knee might slide back a little bit. Stay on the hands or go deeper to forearms and to the floor. Stay here, we'll find the variation back under twist. Again, if you're going the twist with me, we come back to the hands. My right arm's gonna thread through the left shoulder to the floor. Left hand can stay here for support or eventually left arm around the back. Grab waistband, pants, or eventually my left heel. And use that to pull. If you did, come back to hands. And this time we'll find a seated position. So just shift to the left and then swing this right leg forward. Again, we'll set up a seated twist. I'm going to cross my left ankle over the straight right leg. Right leg can stay straight or if I like to shift to the right, bend this one in as well. You can. Once the legs are situated, my left hand is going to place behind the hip. Reach the right arm up to the sky, inhale breath. And then elbow outside the thigh, you'll twist to the left. Now as you do this thing, every inhale, breath, grow long, lift out of the hips, 
Every exhale a little deeper into the twist and maybe even gaze past the left shoulder. On the second side, your left hand will stay. Just untwist, take the right hand behind you. Start to lean back and then uncross, recross the legs as much or a little, cute, ugly, whatever you need to do. Once there, right hand stays, it's left arm to the sky. And then elbow up to the thigh, you twist to the right. And same thing, every inhale breath, grow longer through the spine. Every exhale, a little deeper into the twist. back, uncross the legs, bring the feet to the floor, and turn all ten fingertips to the front, and lift the hips up a little bit, and then sit as close to heels as you can. Good. From here, squeeze the shoulders behind you, lift the heart up to the sky, our last shoulder stretch of the day. Actually, there's one more after this, just kidding. Good. So let's stay here. If I like to bend the elbows, I can, but do not drop the chest. We're here for five. Good. Four. Two, lift the hips, bump them back a little bit, reach the arms forward, and then slowly roll down from behind your back. And from the back, we'll finish with two back bends. So feet come as close to the hips as you can. I can touch the middle finger to the heel of my foot. That's what we're going for. Now, first one will be bridge pose. From here, charge to the heels, lift the hips to the sky as high as they can go. And so as I'm lifting, I'm squeezing the glutes, turn them on. I'm squeezing thighs together, but spreading knees apart, so thighs turn on, knees don't cave in. I can stay here or on the last shoulder stretch, hands behind the back, interlace the grip, and then work the shoulders under you as much as you can as you lift the hips a little bit higher. We're here for five. Good, hold it for four. And for three. And two. And slowly release, roll down the spine, pause there. Or find any other movement you'd like. You can shift the knees side to side, forward back. Knees can come to the chest. I'm keeping my feet on the floor. We have one more back bend. Yeah, and the final back bend of class. Another bridge pose. Feet can stay down, hips lift. Or if you'd like to go to the wheel, you're with me. Um, there's two routes to get to the wheel. If you are new, you might use... Um, well, we'll start with this one. Um, so hands can come next to the ears. If you are new to the wheel pose, you'll charge the heels, lift the hips to that bridge pose shape, and then use the hands first just to lift the head and place the top of the head on the floor. And from there, adjust the hands as needed. Strong inhale, and then you press through the arms, straighten the arms, straighten the legs at the same time. Now, if this is too much, come out of it, go back to bridge, um, save it for another day. If we are in wheel, notice where my shoulders are. They're nowhere close to being over the wrists. So I'm going to push through my legs, try to get the chest to the back wall. If my legs are straight and I can't really push, then I might start to shorten the distance between the legs and push a little more. We're here for five. Good, hold it four. And for three. And two. If you walk the feet in, walk them back a little bit. Tuck the chin to the chest, roll down to the shoulders and then release to the floor. Good. Pause there a moment, allow the spine to reset. And then as you're ready, we bring the knees to the chest. For this one, we'll wrap the arms around the knees and take the knees as close together as you can, as close to the chest as you can. Allow the head to remain on the floor and then keeping those things, just trying to lengthen the tailbone to the floor. So you might get a little pressure around the, a little pressure around the pelvis, um, that's what we're going for. Um, you might also not get it. Sorry. Good, happy baby. Release the legs, reach in between them. Grab the big toes, ankles, sides of the feet. And feet over the knees, knees to floor next to the ribs. 
That's the way we look. Yeah, let's stay here in a ninja bait. We'll start to straighten the right leg out to the side like you're a ninja kicking through the sky, but also with a leap. If you did go ninja baby, switch sides, the right knee bends, left leg straightens. Maybe even full ninja, both legs straightened out to the sides. Now, if you do have something fancy you want to add in, by all means, let go file a forward shoulder stand. Or if you're with me, we just bring left feet together, lower the feet to the floor, form a diamond shape of the legs. Hands go wherever, or the right hand on the belly, left on the heart. Move the shoulders away from the ears. Lift the head up, place it back down so the back of the head is flat. And close the eyes. And let go of the breath. And if the feet are together, you're there as long as you need to be. Whenever you're ready, we'll straighten the legs out on the floor. In your final Shavasana. Now, if you are with me on Spotify, the Billie Eilish song is ending just about now. Um, I'll encourage you to stay in your Shavasana until the end of this next song. If you're not with me on Spotify, just, you know, stay here as long as you can. Absorb the practice, allow it to sink in. With that being said, once again, my name is Bobby. I'll see you on the mat soon. Namaste.